Hey, what's up everyone? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we are looking at the Robot Damashi or Robot Spirits Bandai Collectors Club exclusive Strike Freedom Option Parts set. It's kind of a mouthful and you can kind of see what's going on here. This is the packaging of course. It comes with these wing parts for the wings of the Strike Freedom and a display stage. So that's what it's going to look like and then that's what it's going to look like in real life and if you're not familiar with and you haven't seen my review for it this is the strike freedom this is not the first release so unfortunately i don't have all of the awesomeness that's possible for this figure only some of it the original release that has kind of like a gold stripe on the side has pieces that allow you to connect these dragoons that come off of the wings where the blue things connect these come out and they can like stick forward off of these pieces here with that version. I don't have that so I don't have those connector pieces unfortunately. I only have the, reg the I guess, standard release, if that's what you want to call it, plus the option part set. So I'm going to actually work, walk around to the front of the camera because I have it back so far so I can just kind of talk about this for a minute. Um, you'll notice that I didn't build it on camera, put these pieces on on camera, and that's because the instructions for that look like this. And it's not really that complicated, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. It's really finicky. So you basically just pop off the blue dra dragoons where these pieces are. Those like kind of hollow pieces are. There's blue dragoons that cover those. Pop those off and you fit these in. It's really finicky though. That's why I still don't have the pose quite right. The uh, They don't always want to go right where I want them to. And they're kind of heavy, so sometimes the joints don't hold up where I want them to. But as you can see, it's just a really fantastic looking Gundam once you get these blue wing parts for it. It's, I thought it was a really cool Gundam before with just the wings that had these pieces here. But with these blue pieces that kind of just flare out, it's so cool. It's so awesome. They're translucent blue plastic with white shading. And they connect really well. Let me zoom in here. They connect really well at the actual wings. You can see the little teeth throughout. Uh, there's a little peg on the end of each one, and that's supposed to peg in, but they didn't want to peg in for me, so that's why there's a little bit of a gap, but they, they do fit perfectly well on there, so don't worry about that too much. And then, so you want to just probably pop out these guns on the side here and then give them his dual cannons, and you've got a really awesome piece, awesome Gundam figure. I don't know how anybody couldn't think this is incredibly cool. To me, this is a giant cultural victory for Japan. Just having designed this, way to go, Japan. Very, very, very cool figure. Uh, the exclusive option part set, which is just those blue wings in the display stage, uh, it's kind of expensive nowadays to try to track down. If you can get one, though, or are willing to pay the money, you need to get it. It makes this figure so incredibly cool. It's humongous. I'll just get the ruler out real quick and show you guys. So the figure is, I don't know, roughly five inches tall. He's one of the smaller ones, but the wings are just gigantic. The big wing from where it connects to the tip is 10 inches long. The smaller one, about eight, and they're probably posed like this. They're about, I don't know, 13 inches tall. They're just humongous. They're massive. They look so cool. Um, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of posing options you can do just because they are so big and so heavy. So you're basically going to have him posed like this once you connect those wing parts. But I think that's probably just all right. I'm, I'm perfectly okay with that. I am more than happy to have this guy posed just like that. And we'll just do a quick look at this guy up close a little bit more so you can see what he looks like if you're not too familiar. Let's push this. Uh, it's not going to work. That's better. Okay. So it's just such a cool piece. I mean, it's so simple, but it makes such a big difference. That was probably not a very good pan job, but that's okay. So there it is, guys. There is the Strike Freedom with the Web Shop exclusive or Collector's Club or whatever it's called. Uh, is it collector shop? It's collector shop. Losing my mind. They call it the web shop, though. So the collector shop exclusive option part set. Definite must have if you have the strike freedom. 
get those wings. They're so worth having. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.